Welcome to this short introduction to the HeadCam Orienteering app. We'll show you how you, in a few steps, can use the app to integrate maps and tracking into your GoPro videos. Let's get right to it. In the left-hand column, you import the video files, the tracking, and the map. The first step is to import the video files one by one in the right sequence. just like that. As we've shown in another video, you can use the Quick Route app to align map tracking and split times. Here we simply import the GPX file with your tracking, a JPEG of your map, and the XML file with all the data. I've prepared these and they're all in the same folder. Just like that. Now we're ready for step, step one in the main process, in the right-hand column. Here we merge the video files and prepare for embedding the map. You also have the option to stabilize the video and use our filter to improve the contrast and color. Before you run the video pre preparation, you also get the option to decide the length of the video. If you leave this field blank, the whole video will go through this process. But in this case, we'll just make a short five minute video and we'll measure it up in seconds, just like that. When the video preparation is done, you'll get, you'll see a green check mark in the right hand corner. Let's get on with it. In step two, you get to adjust the main settings for your video. And the two most important ones are timing and map placement. If your video and tracking wasn't started at the exact same time, you can use the adjust timing function to synchronize the two. As a first step, you simply need to press the prepare adjustment video. This will normally take a few minutes to load, but in this case, I've prepared that step. When the video shows in the background, as it does here, you're ready to synchronize. You need to set a video position and a GPS position. I've decided to use the time when I pass control number one. It's right around here. There it is, and I set the video position. In this case, I know that I, the map flipped from the position to one to two a few seconds earlier. So let's see if we, we can find the exact same point. And this time we're watching this map over here to see when it flips from one to two. right there. That's the GPS position and the time difference is 17 seconds. I'll transfer that to the main program. We also allow you to adjust the size and placement of the map videos. We have two map windows, one in each corner, a height graph and a speed panel, which you can all drag to the position you prefer. For this video, I would prefer one large uh, map in the left-hand corner. So let me remove the height graph, the speed panel, and the detailed map. And instead, I'll use the map enlargement function. And just like that. To make it a little easier to see the background, I'll use the transparency function. This is perfect for me, and I'll click Save Settings, and HeadCam Orienteering remembers this for the next time you make a video.
Headcam orienteering also allows you to cut some time from the beginning of the video or decide the overall length and this and in this way make a shorter video. And you can also regulate the speed of your video. Finally, you can remove the audio or add music. Just remember that if you upload your video to a website such as YouTube, you need to clear the copyright for your music tracks. The last step is to choose the name and place for your video. The default, your video file will be named final.mp4 and it'll be saved in the same folder where you chose your original video files. Now all you have to do is press the make video button and when you get the green check mark your video is ready. Thank you for watching and for using headcam orienteering.